Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Kiera. This is Leah. This is Solo. And you're listening to He Said, We Said, We Are Fresh Off Vacation. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, at this point. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. It'll come out after Fourth of July. Yes. That's right. Happy holidays. Yes. Happy. If y'all were off, whatever. Yes. Independence Day. It feels um, like summer. <laughs> Man, literally, it it's does hot. It's like summer. <laughs> yeah, it's very hot. Um, okay, so uh, this is kind of an interesting thing. Some may think of it as weird. Some may think of it as cool. Uh, Alexa is featuring a thing where you can get the voice of a loved one program specifically of loved one of someone that has passed and based off of their voice they can get it to say anything that they wanted to say Mm -hmm. yeah so is that something that y'all would be interested in for me um not at this time i feel like it would create emotional moments every day. As often as I use my Alexa, mm-hmm. I would just, yeah, I have a few, but it's, it's too much. It would be too much for me. If if I chose to do someone that was like uh, a deceased relative, yeah. like I, I probably couldn't handle it every like day. Like a deceased boyfriend or something like that. No. Uh. <sighs> What said a <laughs> voice mimic of a what well, doesn't yeah right it doesn't necessarily like, have to be a deceased loved one does it um it yeah. could be anybody it right could it could be anybody Michael Jordan it could be Michael Jackson well, see damn, I think God, that piece of it is cool uh-huh. if we're talking about someone deceased like that would be very hard for me but okay if I use another voice like Halle Berry <laughs> maybe that would be yours <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was about to say what oh Beyonce <laughs> you know something something like that um. I don't know, Idris. That that would be cool. Oh, oh that would be have cool. A good one. You know, yeah. a nice voice or a Morgan Freeman or some shit. Um, okay, I was I'm thinking, good on Morgan, but I was thinking, you know, I was younger thinking narr- back then, a narrator, yeah, deep or voice, something. Deep, with an right. accent. Yeah, like all state. <laughs> You're talking about this the brother from Yes, oh my Dennis I don't, his I don't know his I name. Close. We've said, yeah. Yes, I think yes. it's close, though. Dennis Hayes. But, but a distinct voice, right? Yes, a very I mean, distinct. You already got the damn Alexa. Right, 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 right. When I say distinct, I mean like a, a male voice, deep. Uh, yeah, maybe not distinct in that okay. anybody can pick it up. I just need a nice voice. But yeah, I would be down for something like that. I think that is a cool feature, but I think to highlight the deceased part is. Um, when I read that, I was like, okay. Yeah, because I always think about those birthday videos that you see when somebody has like... The um, Build-A-Bear. The Build-A-Bear yeah. or the picture frame. Okay, hold on. <laughs> the Build-A-Bear or the picture frame of the deceased loved one. And it's like, ugh. I mean, it's it's cute, but it's like, I don't know if I want to feel those feels, you know? So wait, with the Build-A-Bear, I've seen some where you can get your loved one's voice yeah. and when you squeeze it you'll hear something is that mm-hmm. what you're talking yeah, about yeah, yeah. Those okay kind of i mean i don't know i i feel like i could do it i don't know if i would want that deceased person's voice to be the sole voice for my <sighs> alexa but you know there are times when you miss somebody and so mm-hmm. i would be open to i don't know if i wanted to hear a story like a short story and i used that person's voice to narrate that for me Mm -hmm. i would be okay with that i don't know if i'd want it as every day but yeah i don't know maybe i think everyone grieves differently and so if this had been like a really really close close relative yeah i could i could see wanting it i could see it i I don't know i don't mind the build a bear because that is like on my time when i'm ready to I like feel that, or yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Versus, like, what time is it? Yeah, I don't use my Alexa like that either. So I'm thinking about myself. I wouldn't hear it often, mm-hmm. but yeah, I don't know. I think I'd be open to it. Mm-hmm. I'd be open to it. And then if it's too much, then I just Wish change it. it. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's move on to some hot mess, which is uh Deshaun Watson, Houston Zone. Well, no I more. guess not no more, not technically. No more. But y'all, y'all was riding with him for a minute. 
he has settled. Well, 21 out of the 24 women that accused him have yeah. settled. Do you know what that number was? They can't release it. No, 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 no. We don't know. They, My they bad. Can't. I was like, damn, did they? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's an NDA. Right. Um, so Busby came out and said they can't. They can't talk about it. Yeah. Okay. So I think the main person, not the main person, but the first woman that had come forward and filed these complaints and grievances against him is still uh, one of the the three that are still out there. I'm not so, mad at that. But it's like, damn, you know, anytime you hear settle, it's like something must have happened, right? Yeah. I mean, I would think on his side, it's like, we got to get some of this out the way. What, what mm -hmm. do they want? So the ones that kind of took the money, it's just like, all right, but the main chick or the first one, like, no, 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 we're gonna, we're gonna deal with this. I'm, you're not gonna buy me off or whatever. Well, so or always, you're not just gonna buy me off. Still well, yeah. cut the check. Well, the thing I want to know is it because the price wasn't high enough? I that wonder. They decided not I wonder if to. It's a moral thing, or, or like, do they really have something? Here's the thing. I, I wonder. I'm not mad at women who get the want money, yeah. like. Mm -hmm. If if there's nothing that I can say or do that's going to make you go to jail, this is just exposure or whatever. If I'm, I have been um, dealing with this mm -hmm. that you had me do or asked me to do, and you've been li living nearly free or whatever, mm -hmm. the least you could do is pay me. Like I why not? wonder then what they want, or if it is just a needs to be higher thing. I wonder. Yeah, I mean because my thing is I feel like if they know that they can win if they go and have a full blown on trial then it's like why would they settle but i think it's just a matter of how much and to you it is expensive like if you are if i'm a regular yeah, person to go to trial to and go to may trial not be and guaranteed stuff, anything right. right so you know what yeah go ahead and cut me the check that's fine like, yeah and some probably do realize you know what if we go to trial nothing will come of it so yeah let's just take the settlement yeah um and then for him it's like well yeah i don't want to fight it neither it's more costly expensive but at the same time if i'm deshaun watson i just signed that that uh fully guaranteed contract so <laughs> we we're good unless there's a clause in there that might void it if there's a guilt i don't know you're saying we're, we're good, good like we're not gonna like we'll, we'll go to I trial have the money he has the money but oh, i guess but i guess too bucket. to your point it's like well if i really did do it and there's evidence that i did do this why even bother going to court and having to show up and all this maybe other he stuff he wants to play maybe they're pressuring him like hey we got to get you because the nfl is going to come down with their charges or their suspension Maybe that's what it is, just a rush to get back to playing. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that's part of it, too, because it's like if any of these go to, of I feel like if any of these do finally go to court and all that, like the NFL's going to have to say something. Oh, yeah. If he can if he could have settled all of them. I'm sure the NFL would be feel OK, like without mm -hmm. giving him any real. Well, I think he's still going to get the year. I think off. he's still gonna get a year, which Suspension? is it, which is which two years on the grand scheme of things is nothing when you think about Colin Kaepernick and how long he's been out and he's not being back in the league. So you take two years off and then come back to the fully guaranteed contract. I mean, you're winning if you're Watson, and if you're winning, like literally on the field winning, people are gonna forget. Yeah, this two shall blow over and yeah. pass over. So I mean, we'll see. Well, um, unlike Deshaun, uh, Bill Cosby, who has been allegedly doing a lot of this kind of stuff for decades hmm. he just paid five hundred thousand to a woman who um basically says that he sexually assaulted her back in 1975 at the playboy mansion while she was, was 16, 16 years old now this is a thing for me i saw all kinds of people talking about some what was a 16 year old doing at the playboy mansion y'all need to she need to sue her parents da -da 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 -da. <laughs> and i'm like <laughs> Why y'all acting like y'all was sneaking out the house and doing stuff that, you had no business doing as teenagers? Why that, is it so that, hard that, for y'all to think that a sixteen-year-old in the seventies was at the Playboy how Mansion? How you get there at sixteen? But it's so the seventies. That's, that's what I'm thinking. She got but at the, to the Playboy, Playboy Mansion <laughs> at sixteen, she was so a whose daughter? She must have been. She probably <laughs> did. She. It's the seventies, so people didn't have the same yeah. stuff that we have today. Yeah. So yeah, I'm sure some creepy guys fake work in the ID, door or fake I, whatever. They're like, oh, you look good. You you're young. Men do like young women. Come on in. It's, who's to say that she was topless or like, who knows, right? But the thought that is odd for a 16 year old to be at the Playboy Mansion and her parents may not know anything about it or anybody else, right? Yeah. Like, are y'all dumb? Wasn't y'all sneaking in the clubs uh, when y'all was kids? Not me. There, but some of y'all. But yeah, 
There are also a lot of underage people doing stuff that their parents do know about today. So I don't know why. <laughs> Some of y'all's parents these. was letting y'all drink with your friends in the basement. Little wine cooler buying at the, the barbecue. Buying or, the mm-hmm. stuff for, you know, like, come on, y'all. Let's, let's be. So even if they did know, why are we acting like that's a new thing to where parents don't want to, look, I'm a cool yeah. mom. At the I'm, end of the I'm day, really just... Cosby should not be drugging people and, and having sex with them without the point their of consent. It all. That's yeah. really what it comes down to. Mm. Please stop. Anyways, cut that woman her check. <laughs> Wait, she's getting cut. Oh, five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand. Yeah, 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 I think yeah. she was I'll in the it. documentary too uh, that uh, Homeboy just did. I was telling y'all about it a couple Ooh, months you ago. Said it was good too. Yeah, I think she oh, yeah. was one of the women uh, talk about featured Bill in there. Something like that. We have to, we talk, have to about talk about Cod, something like that. Yeah. Not me over here. Was it surviving Bill? <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> uh, all right. Also, uh, in the hot mess news, we have Jesse Smollett. He is going on a press tour talking about the situation that happened. He is saying that he did not need to do that to be relevant because he was already relevant and that it is crazy that y'all got that y'all think that he set himself up and that it was a publicity stunt. So mm. I do think the book is coming. Um, he just got to somebody going to buy it, Jesse. Just, do what you do. Just, somebody going to buy it. And, and, and oh. really, he's just talking to anybody that's willing to listen. So I think that the interview that I'm mostly thinking bad. of was with Sway in the morning, which I was a little surprised by because they were co-signing like, yeah, why people think? Uh, look, Jesse, your truth is your truth. I, we can't tell you nothing. I, we look, can't tell so. you nothing. We can't tell you nothing. So um, he is convincing, though. I will give him that. Yeah. He's like, now why he would I do swear, that off the back of he was in- my people? Not even just black Americans, but Africans. I would never do that. I just, I wish I like could you- be a fly yeah. on the wall when he first told his family, like, look, y'all, this is what's real. Like, I really mm-hmm. wish I could have been there. Because what journey drug, thinking? Dr- Wait, wait, wait. Journey's been sticking beside him. That's a brother, man. And 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 I hate that she makes me think it's credible. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, 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 if it weren't for Journey, like really riding for it, it's like she gives me that little bit of uh, genuine vibe. Yeah. Though she's just yeah, like, like maybe it's true. Hey, you know, we got Journey. Right? I just, I don't know what I would do in in a situation like that. Like if my sibling. Whether I know it's real or not, right? Like, it sounds crazy. Yeah. And I'm thinking of my brother being like, here, I know this story sounds insane, but this is what happened. And I'm like, <laughs> you gotta so start like this that. happened during the vortex? <laughs> Why would you get in subway during, at two in the morning during the yeah, vortex? Okay, yeah, well, you're yeah. my brother. I got to support you. You know. But you looking crazy. But since when? So you eat subway? Since when? When did you start because, eating subway again? Because, <laughs> you know them $5 foot long? Nah. Um, I I would definitely be very suspicious. I would, tr- you know, I would just make it plain and simple. I ask my sibling, hey, just tell me the truth. You know, if you did, if you didn't, just don't have me I'm a ride with you don't either way. Write. But the extent of my riding Facts. is on yeah. you telling so me the truth the right thing. now. I will be by your side. But if it sounds a little suspect, I'm not speaking. Mm. Right. I'm not right. speaking. Because I couldn't have my face. Like, I mean. Guys, he was at I'll, Subway. Sh- I'll show up to court and <laughs> right. I will be on the side with you. We are here. I'll put my But y'all on not books. getting no statements out of me. You ain't getting no direct quotes. I don't know. You ain't anything. getting none of that. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm going to stick beside him. This, attorney, my, your this is my fam. But look. You know. But I, I will be standing books. in solidarity in silence. In silence. I'm not about to be loud and wrong with I'm you. I'm not about to be like, what was Chris doing for, for his mans? Who? Chris? Uh, uh, CNN. Oh, Cuomo. Oh, Cuomo. Cuomo, Cuomo, Cuomo. I'm, I'm not fighting the good fight behind the scenes for you either. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not doing that. At but then all. what happened with Chris? I don't know. <laughs> he just kind of went out quiet. Oh, he went out, know? look, yeah. because didn't he have his own mess start coming out? Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm like, saying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exit stage left. Right. right. I was already on my way out. Yep. You know what? Yeah. It's fine. I'm yep. just going right. to. I was leaving question. because of my brother, not because of me. Put that on record. Yes. I left because of my brother. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Time to take a sabbatical. Yep. Yeah. His I'll book come back with yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, uh. everybody, this is breaking news. All right. We are at the end of the BBL era. I say it again. We are at the end of the BBL era because the Kardashians have removed their BBLs, allegedly. Mm. Now, you guys, if you don't know, I am the in-house plastic surgeon counsel. I know a lot about plastic surgery, unfortunately, because I am obsessed with this girl's YouTube page and she breaks down a lot of different procedures from celebrities. So 
just bear with me here. You have two different types of BBLs, right? You have the one that a lot of us are aware of, which is very voluptuous, right? They're legs and hips and body, yaddy, yaddy. Mm -hmm. And then you have a skinny BBL or what some people are calling the country club BBL. Mm. And that is the one where they're adding curves, but it's not so voluptuous. It's a lot more of a natural look. Natural so look to think it. of a Lori Harvey, a Kendall Jenner, a whoever that else. The more expensive procedure? And it's about the same. It's just usually reserved for people who either want a more natural look mm -hmm. or they're a lot more petite and they don't have as a lot. Okay. They don't have as much fat. Yeah, I was about to say, who wouldn't want the natural look? You would think, right? But when you have people like the Kardashians who for decades have been on this tour about their bodies being natural, not really admitting the work that they've had. We had Kim Kardashian go as far as x-raying her, or Xeroxing, excuse me, her, her butt to show you guys that she did not have implants in there. What a time that we've lived through. Yeah, you know? what are we doing? All you know? for the booty. She has, we, she has been talked about in songs. And mm. I mean, it's been a lot. Um, but yes, uh, the Kardashians have been slowly removing their stuff and have gone back, kind of done more like the skinny BBL thing. And so now there's a conversation of, A, what does this look like for the future? Are we getting back into like the slim look being like in, but then two, why are body types like trends? Mm -hmm. And then three, they have the luxury of choosing whatever body that they want. But for the average American, a lot of them are saving up to have that voluptuous BBL. Mm -hmm. And so when it's no longer desired. Look, if you spent your last on it, you might want to ride with it. <laughs> you know? And isn't or it something that to. has to continually be worked on? Um, You don't necessarily have to. Okay. If you do it right <laughs> and you take care of your body, you should not have to go back under the knife. Mm -hmm. However, if you get a BBL, you have to maintain the BBL. So you have to continue to go to the gym or start going to the gym mm -hmm. if you didn't before, or else you start looking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> well, I mean, you just say then you picture. start looking crazy. No, I mean, you're, you're. Because I mean, I guess we've all seen some crazy looks. Well, some so of them we're are wondering, just is that already just botched given, surgery yeah, or is it right. just, you some know, of it lack is of maintenance botched. afterwards? But yes, a lot of it is lack of maintenance. Um, you know, you just have to keep, you just have to maintain it because the thing with liposuction, especially it, that fat will come back. And sometimes it can come back loppy and it's just not a good look. So, um, yeah, this is the end of the era. Do you guys feel a certain way about it? Are you, I mean, I think for some people you like what you like. I'm, I'm saying because Solomon, not to put you out there, but you do like a voluptuous body, right? I mean, I like- uh, You like curves. Yeah, I like a little bit of curve, a little bit of hips, thighs, behind, but- um, Okay. So thank you. you I like, like a little bit, not but full I body. Will just say, <laughs> I will say this though, this era with the BBLs and all the, you know, taking pictures of the angles and looks natural here. But when you get, you know, in real life, it just looks a lot different and vastly unnatural. I have appreciated the, I don't want to call them regular, but the natural, natural body, looking, yeah, whatever, anything that looks like it's just natural, whether it is a big butt or small, slim waist, big hips, just as long as it just looks like natural curves. Like, uh -huh. I, I, you I like appreciate some hip that. Dips. You think somebody that really likes the bottom heavy, I'd be like, oh, BB. But it's like, nowadays it's just so much going on, so weird looking butts that it's just like, you I just think appreciate we just the natural off. shit. Been I've off been turned off. Like yeah. Everybody's shaking their fake asses. You know, it's just like, I'm okay Ooh. with it being over if it just means that people are just choosing to. But there are still know, people currently appreciate that, are, their natural bodies. that are still under the knife. We probably got knife. appointments coming soon because I'm yeah. telling you at the airport, it was a lot. Yeah. And boy, why is it the airport? I don't yeah. Know. At the airport, at, well, you, you were in see South it. Florida, so Leggings, it's especially there. Leggings I was like, I some, forget Dr. Miami. Miami's I was like, out here. Yeah. Yeah, There's everybody got leggings. Everybody got on some Yeezy slides. Or wait, <laughs> come facts. on! With, but with, facts. With, I don't with, know with when the Yeezy slides. <laughs> I'm just like, is everybody going the same spot? Okay. Look, they got Yeezy slides. Did you see a lot of wheelchairs? Uh, <laughs> no, people have. That's what it is when they're that's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. But no, 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 no. I didn't. I okay. I left it like 
super early. Okay. But I just saw the after. Okay. After effects. It I was just, a lot. If I were to go under the knife, I just got to find a good doctor here in Houston. I, I'm You're not, not going to go to the to- DR? I no, I'm not going be. out of the country. That's for sure. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I can't be out of the country. First off, who's taking care of me? Like, I have to bring well, someone with me. You or hire a nurse me. out there if I even... Tr- Not that their nurses aren't good out there. Mm-hmm. But Kiara, I just need some homegrown uh, nurses here, doctors, etc. Because this is part, part of the reason why people leave the country to have these procedures. Aside from costs, is because there's different legal regulations that they have out there. So mm-hmm. here in the States, they can only take out a certain percentage of body fat mm-hmm. per like treatment, right? Mm-hmm. Out there, a lot of them, they don't have that don't have cap. that limitation. So when you are going to Guatemala to get your BBL, you know, sometimes you risk not being able to come back to the States because you didn't make it past the operation table, right? So mm-hmm. not only did you cut costs, you were just willing for them to just do whatever and you know, a lot yeah. of people end up dying. So for me, it's like, no, I need to be here in the States. Maybe I'll go to LA. Have New some York. insurance cover some of it, right? But I'm not, I'm not leaving the country, mm. point blank. If I, 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 just if I were to do something I, like that. Yeah, I don't know if I could see a BBL in my future. I'm Mm-mm. not, I'm not against plastic surgery um, if it's done tastefully. But at this point in my life, I don't know if I'd seriously like cut the check. But I'll be open to it. If I have some kids and I want to get the be open. So no touched gas up or something. Oh, okay. okay. No gastric sleeve or anything like that? I mean, I don't... Just hearing all I the shit that they have to do and the things that they can't just digest and consume in their diet chain. I'm like, dang, I want to eat some food. Well, yeah. you Because know, <laughs> a lot of them be able to eat and having to throw up because their stomachs are too small. I'm just yeah. drinking this... <laughs> Liquid concoction. Look, I just I'm dizzy and I'm just I like, don't well, know. I'm about to go grab some water. <laughs> water from Water Burger. I mean, I don't know. I again, I'm not anti it. Who knows? Maybe come fifty or something. I may look into some filler or something. I don't know. I'm I'm not anti surgery. Do whatever makes you feel good. If you have the means for it and you look natural, like everybody, plastic surgery. Just about everybody that you guys see on TV has had work done just about everybody mm-hmm. so you know on TV, tom you cruise i was parties. looking at tom cruise like okay Brad Pitt, nigga, you're looking John too Travolta. wait when did you see him top gun because i'm right. looking at brad i mean not brad i'm looking at tom and then i'm looking at val granted val kimmer's had that throat cancer or something like that mm-hmm. so i mean but there's no way you should be looking like that tom cruise I'm gonna I mean, even to, though I he's look. kind of looking older, Tom Cruise is what pushing probably, fifty-eight, maybe probably 60. coming to sixty. Yeah. You're looking thirty-five, and come on now. Yeah, I think like we're just so. Like, well, you got the, if you got the money, that. I'm sure it's a conversation in those circles. Where it's like you got the money, why are you looking so old? I'm sure. Yeah, Pharrell still looking. Pharrell now. <laughs> I think Pharrell, Pharrell is aging, but I don't know if Pharrell has gotten work done. What I think Pharrell, Pharrell just has it? really good she genes. Ha- he hasn't been on the on the um, the channel. He hasn't, but he still has like wrinkles and stuff. Like when he makes yeah. expressions, so I don't think that he's Pharrell has gone on record with his skincare routine for years. I would be very mm-hmm. disappointed in him if he was getting work. I mean, on a the lot side. of them. The Kardashians got skincare. Okay, but you know, okay, but I'm not surprised by that. Pharrell seems like a very nonchalant. If you got work, like why, why boost? Oh yeah, my wife put me onto this. Like, and you're not really advertising anything. It's just like a random. <laughs> this is what I do. Yeah. Like, I mean, these people are just fake. But I don't. I would be disappointed in Pharrell too. I get what you're saying. But yes, um, J Lo. She swears up and down. She just puts olive oil in her face that she has not had any work done. Hey girl, maybe you have. Maybe oh, you haven't. It. Stop it! <laughs> just stop it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people Nobody's out there. Nobody's asking you to lie. Stop. You yes. know, you're just offering yes. it up unprovoked. Back Come to on. the Kardashians. How many kids? I will not do. ever forget the Xerox now. I feel like that was a unlocked Moment. memory. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and it was such a thing. Like, see my butt is... Oh, no. And they think they slick because... Obviously, she's had fat put in there, right? But she is saying, I don't have implants. So <laughs> it's not that I haven't had work done. Although they they have been, I think Chloe has been on record saying she's only had her nose done. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you have so many girls 
and women that look up to these people and they look at themselves like, dang, my body doesn't look like that or da 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 da. And it's just like, I wish people were a lot more transparent about stuff that they've had. Beyonce, I love you, girl. Yeah. Y'all know yeah. Nose job. They just be boobs, looking wow. BB, yeah. I mean, everybody. Kelly yeah. Rowland has had her boobs done. She has admitted it. Sierra's had her boobs done. And a nose yeah. job. Like, people yeah. get work done and that's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Now, Nikki shit didn't look crazy. She still Nikki looks crazy. She's have still crazy. But you know, TLC sang about it. You know, uh, I'm pretty. Yeah. They, su- they sung about <laughs> it. Like, they, <laughs> they sung about it. I mean, I'm just saying. That? You can buy your hair if it won't grow. You mm. know? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's move on to the actual verses, which is because uh, we're speaking of plastic surgery. Are you okay with your significant other getting surgery while you guys are together? Are you there going to stick beside them? Are you going to go with the treatments, help them roll out that BBL, fat, um, um, now help I gotta your do man work. if he wants to get a lipo? Wait, what? Now I got to do work. <laughs> yeah, you got to take care of the massages you need to be. <sighs> yeah. If your man decides to get lipo, like some people, allegedly Diddy, Drake, and French Montana, are you going to do what you need to do to maintain that? That BB, I mean, the, the lipo for them, like, or are you going to try to convince them, like, no, you're beautiful the way you are. Like, I don't, I don't think you need it. Like, where, are you, where do y'all stand with that? Now, when you say significant other, your man, your husband, your, your man, wife, your we just gonna say it like that. Your husband, your wife. Oh, okay, yeah, no, 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 no. I would convince them. I would probably tell them you don't have to, but I would also maybe get to a point if it came up twice, I'd be like, all right. What's the goal? So you're taking off work to help them. Damn, now I got to take, take off work. How are we going to fund this thing? <laughs> hey, is it coming out of your savings goes. or my savings? You know? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it, the part clearly. of it is the Christmas gift or a birthday shit. gift. <laughs> but it's, I don't know, man. I'm I'm going to say that I, I don't know. I don't want to like tap into somebody's insecurities, but like I, for a man to say that, you know, he wants like lipo or something like that. For my husband to say that, I'm like, dang man, what's, what's he, going he on? He wants the let's say he wants, he wants the hair. There's a tuck in there's a tuck in of fat that just wants, won't leave. He's been working out on it every day or, or five maybe days a week. Wants, maybe I wouldn't wants, I I wouldn't discourage it or you wouldn't promote it either. Yes. What if he wanted to? And hair I wouldn't implants, I wouldn't huh? be mad. He wanted what? Hair implants. The hair That's a good shit. One. What's the hair shit they be doing? Yeah, the uh hairline procedures. Yeah. Look, if we're talking about Look, husband, you up. make it up twice. Come on, what we gotta do? Look, you I like that hair back nothing. in the day. Right. You know, he, he don't want to go bald. I, I I would be the first time I would laugh. I was like, Are Ooh, you serious? See, you I wouldn't think? bring my yes, I wouldn't bring I my insecurity to you no more. Oh, right? like, we damn near <laughs> no. might have to divorce. You know what I'm saying? I tell no, you about my insecurities and bring it to the I'm table. Saying, you you laughing? Like, mm-hmm. Ooh, the first yeah. time I would be like, Are you kidding? You you just don't want to go bald? Like I like a bald man. You don't want to go bald? No, I really want hair. Some women. All right. Don't then I would think about it. Then I would think about it. The second time okay. you bring it up, then it's like, all right, let's let's do what we gotta do. But yes, the like, hair seems not that invasive. Like I, I don't think I necessarily need to be as involved with that versus like him wanting to get his penis enlarged, right? Uh, we, that uh, I just saw that that was a thing. I don't know what the recovery process for that is, but you know, you might need to get up in there and, and put some ointment or so. I don't know. I, I would have that. to ask questions, make sure. I mean, are we done with kids? Is this just like a? a <laughs> Is it for me yeah. or is it like yeah. what is it? What's or maybe just what is the what is the surgery where they uh extend the the bones or the joints? Oh, when they make them into a collar. Oh, now oh. it's funny. No, 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 that's not funny. That's <laughs> not, I, would, you, you I would. I would get what about four one. inches? I, I think would be you can that get. One. I think you lot. can. That's a lot. That is a, like lot. a lot. That is a that's, that's a that lot. feels like an intense surgery. That's one you need to have before we get together. And I bet yeah. not know nothing about it, but right. I'm gonna find no, out. No, no, no. And I would <laughs> the, the arms don't match. First off, um, first off, I was yes, I would probably laugh at the hair thing because I would probably be telling you to go to ball. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm gonna get hair plants, hold on. Yeah. Like, I why would. are we doing this? Just go bald. <laughs> like, like the bald head. But the Let bone surgery and all of that, like for That's a whole nother We thing. already married. Who why? Yeah. Well, I mean the same could be said for the BBL and the gastric bypass and the sleeve and, well, and, and the, the compa- tummy tuck and the Botox compa- and the complain lips about their height filler. for like random reasons. And it always feels like it's because, because women y'all do it. Certain- yeah, no, I can get I can I'm actually with Solomon on this. I do think that the height one can be comparable to like a BBL, et cetera, because 
we Boob women, jobs. myself, mm-hmm. I, there is such a uh, emphasis on tall men. Some women are just like, oh, whatever, right? But there are a lot of us. I see the conversations. I'm a part of the conversations where you know there is uh, emphasis in t- men being tall. So if you are a man that's five three, five four, and you have this insecurity about the height. Sure, you could find a woman that's 4'11", maybe, but even the 4'11 girls aren't trying to, a lot of them aren't trying to date a guy that's 5'3", 5'4". Maybe that's the difference, because I'm not in that party. I could could understand there being an insecurity there and you wanting to fulfill it, right? Mm -hmm. So to answer the question, I could do it. I think that if my husband is so adamant about wanting to get X, Y, and C procedure because it'll make them feel better, then I absolutely would be there for them and I would support them. Now, I also would want the same for myself. See, I was about to say, if you can't I, give without taking love. If I decide one day, you know, I didn't have the babies, my breasts ain't what they used to look like and I mm-hmm. want to get them lifted or something like that or reduced or, or maybe I want a mommy makeover, I don't need no pushback on that if we have the means to do so. I want it done. And I don't that. know, man. I would compare the BBL to like the sucking or whatever the guy would want. But like the high thing, ah, man, that's like, that feels very intense to me. Like getting this actual, the actual procedure to like procedure, breaking yes. And, and but but the, the want and desire, I under, I think it's the, it's same. the same. But the really? procedure itself does, well, they say BBLs are very dangerous too. Bit, yeah. So You said what? One just seems a little bit more, I guess, yeah, like you were saying, dangerous. Like, it's not just a simple, oh, let me plug my hair. No, it's mm-hmm. like we're Now we're breaking your stre- bones yeah. and you're going to yeah. be in a wheelchair for X amount of time. Like, this is a complete some heavy in- change. Yeah, intense for rehab. Right. Yeah. And that's why for me, that one be the, would be the one I would probably, like, push back. But, then but that's it's not why you get a man that too. don't need that. Baby, I'm 5'11". I need that one inch. No. <laughs> you need to get some lifts. <laughs> right, yeah. I got something in the in the bathroom. You just put in your shoes. Put on oh, the jays. So what, what's the, what's so the yeah. Oh Lord, no, Doctor no, no, Shows. No. Something. Yeah, we're not. not, not I'm not doing surgery. I'm yeah. not doing that surgery. Supporting. Okay. Well, well I would. Your limits. If I were to get with a man that needed, that felt they needed it, actually, never say never. So, yeah, I'd, I'd be open to it, but I don't mm. think I would date a man that. Need that, so. I need that. I, I need to see what it looks like. Even if I were with a short guy, I would hope that he would. At the point of us being married, hopefully, I would. It would. Hopefully, it would have been fulfilled yes. at that point. That yes. is my hope and desire. So we'll take that one out. We'll leave it with lipo. So yeah. you know, baby's been You're working okay in the gym, yeah. and he's got this pocket of fat on his lower abdomen that he's just been wanting to get out, and it just will not leave. And I can so it's just like it. a little daytime procedure. Mm-hmm. Why not? He wants to get a little. Um, I don't know, Botox or something. Mm. Why not? Just don't yeah. be looking crazy. Yeah, I, I, can, I can support stuff like that. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, thanks you guys so much for listening. If you like what you heard, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on social media at He Said We Said. Any final words? That's it? No, that's it. Bye. Bye. Bye.